My body just can't do it anymore. Those were the words of the Wimbledon women's champion, Marianne Bartley, as she shocked the world of tennis by announcing her retirement at the age of just 28. Minutes after losing in the second round of a tournament in Cincinnati, she said a succession of injuries had left her in pain after just 45 minutes to an hour of every match. Jordan Jarrett Bryan has this report. The greatest moment of Marion Batelli's career. Wimbledon champion 2013. The French woman, not one of the fancied winners, but overcame everyone in her path to win her first Grand Slam. But last night, the world number seven made an announcement that stunned the tennis world. I really tried to, um, to keep playing, but I just can't anymore. And as much as I love the game, it's just, it's just time for me now to, uh, to let my body rest. But will those who have played the game shocked at all at her sudden departure? Um, I think it, it probably does sound young to, to many people in normal jobs, but I think in, in professional tennis it probably isn't. You know, um, Borg retired at 26. Uh, we had a, a top 10 player, uh, Dementieva, that retired a couple of years ago. She was around about the same age. Um, and these girls have been doing, you know, they've been playing the sport since they were very, very little. And then they've gone out onto the main tour and they've played a lot of years, uh, traveling around the world week in and week out and really pushing their bodies to the absolute maximum. Will Herbert is a physio who's worked with some of tennis's elite and has seen firsthand the impact on several players' bodies. The uh, sport is incessant. It's um, high impact sport, lots of stop starting, uh, places lots of stress on the body. So um, it's all body, you're using big muscle groups, having to coordinate them repetitively, repetitively. You're using one side of the body more than the other, so there's imbalances are occurring, which you then have to get into the gym and counter. Andy Murray and Marin Bartoli's triumph this summer at Wimbledon were true success stories. The downside is the brutality of which these top players put their bodies through. But for the young people here at this tennis club, it hasn't put them off playing the sport one bit. No, it doesn't put me off because, like so many sportsmen have come through injuries and made so many achievements and um, I'm inspired by that. Tracy Austin, Andre Yeager and Martin Hingez all retired before 25. But the latest generation of young tennis players acknowledge the risk the sport poses to the body, but nevertheless are hungrier than ever and have bought into the old cliché, no pain, no gain.